Hi there, I'm Laura from Twinkle. Are you worried about your children not learning enough about specific artists from history? Or have you already planned a series of art lessons about Frida Kahlo and her artwork? Either way, this amazing Frida Kahlo inspired by emotions art activity is the perfect one for you. This art activity, based on the piece of art The Wounded Deer by Frida Kahlo, considers the link between emotions and art and encourages children to think about how they can present emotions through their artwork. In The Wounded Deer, Frida Kahlo painted her own face on the body of a young deer who had been shot by arrows. The background is the forest with dead trees and broken branches, which implied the feeling of fear and desperation. For this activity, children will have to think of different emotions and choose one that they think would make a good subject for a piece of artwork. Then they can choose their medium, for example, paint, pencils, pastels, felt tips, etc. Perhaps you can encourage them to choose a particular medium that you've been studying this term. Then children should choose an animal for their piece of art. This could be anything they want. Frida Kahlo used a deer for her painting as they were her favourite animal. However, instead of the animal's head, children should think about using a human head, just like Frida Kahlo did. They could even add their own head in place of the animal's head if they wanted to. They should make the background of their art piece fit with the emotion they are showing. As Frida Kahlo chose a background of damaged trees, broken branches and dead leaves to suggest the pain and sadness she was feeling after a severe accident. I would suggest working with the children collaboratively to generate a list of suggestions for backgrounds that might work for each emotion. For example, you might have a mountain range to show peace, a beach to show happiness, and a rough sea to show fear. In the corner of her painting, Frida Kahlo wrote the word karma, which refers to someone's destiny. Children could consider adding a word to their picture. Perhaps they could look up their emotion word in another language and write that, for example. If you and your children enjoyed this resource, then Twinkle has so many more resources and artists that you could use. For example, this 12 Artists Children Should Know worksheet series is a great starting place to inspire creativity in your children. Or this Artists From Around the World PowerPoint allows children to choose a place that interests them on a world map and then learn about a famous artist from that place. I hope I have shown you how you can use this activity to support your children's learning in art. Specifically, they're learning about great artists in history, which is one of the national curriculum objectives. I hope you have a wonderful day and until next time. Bye for now. Thank you.